The last days of the dinosaurs were not kind. 76 million years ago, the asteroid that would eventually wipe out the dinosaurs was hurtling towards Earth. But the end wasn't nigh yet. Not by a long shot. It would take years for the rock from space to actually smack into our planet, so the dinosaurs had time to get their affairs in order. Well, maybe not. The asteroid that killed the dinosaurs was big, hot, and fast. But before it became famous for ending the age of the dinosaurs, it was just one rock among many rocks hurtling around the sun in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Sometimes these space rocks get knocked out of the belt by Jupiter's gravity, and their paths around the sun take them much closer to Earth. That's what happened to our big rock. And unfortunately for us, and all life on Earth, it just so happened to be headed straight for us. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. 76 million years before impact, the dinosaurs had at least a few thousand years left. They probably didn't know it, though. Life in the late Cretaceous was pretty chill. If you were a dinosaur, your biggest concern was probably finding enough food, or maybe dodging a volcanic eruption. Asteroids probably weren't on your radar, if you know what I mean. And besides, even if you were an asteroid the size of a city block, you wouldn't necessarily stand out in the sky. In fact, you might mistake it for a star. So imagine the dinosaurs looking up at the night sky and seeing a bright new star where there wasn't one before. Maybe they did. There are plenty of stories about how the Maya predicted the end of the world based on the movements of celestial bodies. Could the dinosaurs have been similarly inspired? Did they see the omens and build giant stone hinges to worship the rising star? No. What evidence do I have that they looked up at the stars at all? They were too busy dying out, apparently. Seriously, though, the asteroid's approach would have been gradual. It would have taken decades for it to become obvious something was coming, and by then it would have been too late to do anything about it. When the asteroid finally hit, the impact would have been so catastrophic that nothing could have survived. So any dinosaurs that were around to witness the impact wouldn't have been around for long after that. Okay, but what if some asteroids had made it through the apocalypse? Could they have survived in the aftermath? Well, sure. But the asteroid that ended up killing them off wasn't just any old asteroid. It was a special kind of rock from space, a kind that doesn't exist anymore. It was a mafic asteroid. These space rocks are rich in iron and magnesium, which makes them magnetic, and they're also packed with carbon and nitrogen. After the impact, these elements would have been released into the atmosphere in such large quantities that it would have killed off all life on land and in the oceans. To learn more ways that the asteroid could have killed the dinosaurs, check out the series in the description below. Thanks for watching.